Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we will talk about the continuation of factoring of polynomials. This time, we will deal with factors of perfect square trinomials and factors of sum or difference of two cubes. As a recall, factoring polynomials is the reverse process of multiplying polynomials. Last time, we deal with common monomial factors and factors of difference of two squares. Now for factors of perfect square trinomials, we need to remember that the square of a binomial results in a perfect square trinomial. So reversing the process, the factors of a perfect square trinomial is simply the square of a binomial. Here, the first term is the square root of the first term of the trinomial. And the second term is the square root of the third term of the trinomial. In between sign of the binomial depends on the sign of the second term of the trinomial. But before we follow these steps, make sure to check if the given trinomial is really a perfect square trinomial. As an example, factor the trinomial x squared plus 14x plus 49. Now, to tell if this trinomial is really a perfect square, we first need to get the square roots of the first and last terms. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 49 is 7. Now, if the middle term is twice the product of the square roots x and 7, then the trinomial is a perfect square. Here, twice x is 2x times 7 is equal to 14x. Since that is the middle term, therefore, x squared plus 14x plus 49 is a perfect square trinomial. Now, to factor this, get the square roots of the first and last terms. In this case, those are x and 7. Second, use the sign of the middle term of the trinomial between these roots. Here, we will use plus, and lastly, raise the binomial x plus 7 by 2, or second power. The factors now of x squared plus 14x plus 49 are quantity x plus 7 and x plus 7, or simply the square of quantity x plus 7. For our second example, Factor the trinomial y squared minus 22y plus 121. Again, we need to verify first if this is a perfect square. Doing the previous procedure, get the square roots of the first and last terms. Square root of y squared is y. Square root of 121 is 11. Now, if twice the product of y and 11 is the middle term, then it is a perfect square trinomial. 2 multiplied by y is 2y, times 11 is 22y. And since this is the same with our middle term, meaning this is really a perfect square. Now to factor this trinomial, we will get the square roots of the first and last terms, in this case y and 11. Next, copy the sign of the middle term of the trinomial between the roots, here, we will use minus. Lastly, raise the binomial y minus 11 by 2. Thus, the factors are quantity y minus 11 and y minus 11, or simply the square of quantity y minus 11. For our last example, factor the trinomial 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared. Again, Verify first if this is a perfect square trinomial. Get the square roots of the first term 4x squared and last term 25y squared. Those are 2x and 5y respectively. Next, twice the product of 2x and 5y. 2 times 2x is 4x times 5y is 20xy. Since that is also the middle term, this means that the trinomial is a perfect square. Now we can proceed to the factoring process. Getting the square roots of the first and last terms, those are 2x and 5y. Next, copy the sign or operation of the middle term, that is minus. 
and then raise the binomial 2x minus 5y by 2. Hence, the factors of the trinomial 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared are quantity 2x minus 5y and 2x minus 5y or simply the square of quantity 2x minus 5y. After knowing the process of factoring perfect square trinomials, we will now proceed to factors of sum or difference of two cubes. Here we will follow certain factoring steps. Also take note that the factors are composed of a binomial and a trinomial. For step number one, get the cube root of each cube term. Step number two, copy the operation between the cubes and then use the cube roots in step one to obtain the binomial factor. For step number three, to form the trinomial factor, we need to square the first cube root. Next, we will multiply the two cube roots. The sign of the product is opposite the sign between the cubes. And lastly, square the second cube root. Here, notice that in the sum of cubes, the terms of the trinomial factor have alternating signs. While for the difference, the terms of the trinomial factor are all positive. For our first example, Factor x cubed plus 216. Here we have sum of two cubes. Applying the steps, get the cube root of each cubed form. The cube root of x cubed is x. Cube root of 216 is 6. Now take the operation between the cubes. In this case, that is plus or addition. Then use this operation to the cube roots x and 6. Thus, the binomial factor is quantity x plus 6. Next, for the trinomial factor, get the square of the first cube root x. That will be x squared. Next, multiply the two cube roots. x times 6 is 6x. And the sign of this term should be the opposite sign between the cubes. Since the initial sign or operation is plus, Getting the opposite of that, we will use negative. So we have negative 6x for our middle term. And lastly, get the square of the second cube root, 6. The square of 6 is 36. Hence, the factors of the polynomial x cubed plus 216 are quantity x plus 6 and quantity x squared minus 6x plus 36. For our second example, factor 8y cubed minus 27. Again, doing the previously mentioned steps, we will first get the cube roots of each term. The cube root of 8y cubed is 2y. For the cube root of 27, that is 3. Now to know the binomial factor, take the sign between the cubes. In this case, that is minus. So the first factor is quantity 2y minus 3. After getting the binomial factor, we will now solve for the trinomial part. Here we will get the square of the first cube root 2y. That will be 4y squared. Next, multiply the two cube roots. 2y times 3 is 6y. Since the sign of this term should be the opposite sign between the cubes, we will write plus 6y. Then lastly, square the second cube root. The square of 3 is 9. Hence, the factors of the polynomial 8y cubed minus 27 are quantity 2y minus 3 and quantity 4y squared plus 6y plus 9. For our last example, factor completely the polynomial x raised to 6 minus 1. Here we will apply two factoring methods. Those are difference of two squares and sum or difference of two cubes. Notice that the binomial is a difference of two squares since we can rewrite it as quantity x cubed plus 1 times quantity x cubed minus 1. Again, to get the factors of difference of two squares, we get the square root of both first and second terms and then express those as sum and difference. 
the square root of x raised to 6 is x cubed. The square root of 1 is also 1. Thus, x raised to 6 minus 1 is the same as quantity x cubed plus 1 times quantity x cubed minus 1. And then doing the steps, factor now of x cubed plus 1 are quantity x plus 1 for the binomial and then x squared minus x plus 1 for the trinomial. For the term x cubed minus 1, factors are quantity x minus 1 and quantity x squared plus x plus 1. Hence, the factors of x raised to 6 minus 1 are quantity x plus 1 times quantity x minus 1 times quantity x squared minus x plus 1 and quantity x squared plus x plus 1. Thank you for watching. God bless.